A region rich in history, charm and beauty, this is South Brittany with a peasant-style cuisine where butter is often the star, especially in the delicious shortbread-style cake called Gâteau Breton and in the great speciality of pancake called Galette. The movement and the skills of the crêpière are admirable. It's beautiful to watch, but the key of a good Galette is the crispness of the buckwheat flour. There is nothing more creative and rustic in Breton's gastronomy than its charcuterie. Look at this. They have created a sort of petit pâté. It is a pressed ham covered with vegetables so the fishermen can take it overnight while they are fishing. Then there is salami, just flat, like a galette. They call it a galette that you can cut lengthwise and put in your baguette for lunch. And then the pièce de résistance. Look at this. L'andouille de plou harnel. It is a big sausage, very rustic, made with the guts of the pig. Absolutely delicious. I love it, but definitely not for vegetarians. This is so good. The pork crackling, the moisture, the sweetness, it's irresistible. Yum. The Queen Amman is the most unique cake which third generation pâtissier Jean-Marie Blanchot has cooked all his life. So why is it so popular? Because it's made with uh, uh, salted butter, salted from Guérande. It's uh, very tasty with the toffee. It is just sensational. The Queen Amman is made like a croissant dough. You mix a little bread improver, some yeast and plain flour together with salted water until it forms a dough. The dough is covered and refrigerated for one hour. Then the dough is rolled out, some butter is placed in the center and the sides of the pastry are folded to neatly cover the butter. The pastry is rolled out to a long rectangle, then folded in three, as you would when making puff pastry. It is refrigerated for 30 minutes, then rolled out again and coated with a generous amount of sugar and folded again before being placed in the fridge to rest for a further 30 minutes. The last step is then repeated one more time and rested again for 30 minutes. The pastry is removed from the fridge, rolled out to about one centimeter thick. Today, Jean-Marie makes two cakes, one about 20 centimeter in diameter and the other about 26 centimeter. The corners of the dough for each cake are folded to meet in the center. The dough is gently pressed into two battered cake tins, covered and left to rise for two hours in a warm place. It is then baked in a preheated oven at 200 degrees for about 30 minutes before being turned out onto a rack. It's beautifully caramelized. It's sweet and buttery and so good. Merci Jean-Marie. The northern part of Brittany is amazingly beautiful and tomorrow we discover some of its glorious seafood cuisine.